Hi, this is Matt Bernstein with Skillhands.com, and in this lecture, we are going to learn how to use Skillshare, how to upload classes, publish them to Skillshare using your existing content. Most likely, you've started on Udemy, and you've quickly had to find out that you have to market your own Udemy courses yourself to earn any money. They work on a monthly membership, so the student pays about $8.00. And they have access to all the content that is up on Skillshare. And Skillshare pays the instructors per enrollment. I've calculated that you see the followers to the right of your screen. You'll see Matt Bernstein, my subtitle, followers and following. You'll get paid about $2.4 every unique follower that you have every single month on Skillshare. So this month, I only had about 180 followers in the month of April. They pay me on May 16th, so they pay you about two weeks after the month has ended, and I got $372 just listing my existing content onto Skillshare that I already had on Udemy. We'll go to Skillshare. After you sign up to become an instructor, you'll click on your image, go down to teaching. You'll see that I'm teaching 35 classes. This is just one section from my Udemy course, practicing the benefits of business patience. It's five lectures long, and I made it a standalone course on Skillshare. Same with conducting great interviews five lectures, Facebook group marketing strategies, four lectures. Some, Most of these are just sections within my Udemy course. I have a big social media marketing course on Udemy. So I have a section about LinkedIn. I have a section about Reddit. But I made them two individual courses on Skillshare. You get the point. For you, you'd scroll all the way down. And you would click post a new class. We'll click on edit, it's gonna be the same thing except mine's already filled out. You'll have your class title, your class description, write a summary of your class in 100 words or less. So you can't just copy and paste your course description on you to me. Your project title, sell a product on Amazon for a profit. So basically you just have a project. This is Skillshare's uniqueness. You have to have a project for every single course that you post. So it's just a quick, quick and simple project. Assignment. Buy a product by winning a Udemy auction. Calculate the price. You need to buy the product on eBay to make a profit on Amazon by matching the lowest price. The idea is basic but powerful. Step one, win an eBay auction. Step two, match the lowest price on Amazon. Step three, order free USPS shipping supplies. Step four, make the sale on Amazon. Step five, what item did you sell? Step six, how much was your profit? Step seven, calculate and keep track of your bookkeeping. That's it. You just have to have a quick assignment. You can make one up on the fly. Then you'll click save and you'll go to video lessons. Same thing on as on Udemy, select your section title. This is section number one, selling on Amazon. Then you can upload multiple lessons into this, a bulk upload. I uploaded lecture one, lecture two, lecture three. Same thing. If you needed to add more, you just add a video. You can upload it and it will fill in your title for you, and you can just edit it quickly like that and just click out of it. To get the main image for your course, this is the course tile or the course image. You go to the first lecture and you add in a cover image. So just be as simple as clicking the button, uploading it onto Skillshare. 
section two, lecture one, two, three, et cetera. You get the point on the section and lectures, how to set that up and how to upload it. Basically on your end, to add a new unit, it would be a section. So to title this unit, and then this unit needs about one session. So this is section, this is a section of the course and the lecture that goes into it. All you have to do is click save. It's not that hard. This is one of my bigger courses. So I have about five sections with 30 different lectures. But on Skillshare, what also works is posting one section with five lectures in it. As long as the course makes sense as a standalone. More details, the category is business. Add up to five tags. So the catch with this is it can't be any keyword like you could on Udemy or any other website. This has to be tags that are already created on Skillshare. These are the only tags that include the letter A. So that's why I have business development. You can't just add and create your own tags. Payment info, make sure that you verified your PayPal account with Skillshare to begin. And to do that, you go into settings. And then you save and publish your course, obviously. So you need to set up your profile profile, you'll select your profile image, your first name, your last name, your headline, your Skillshare username, your gender, a quick bio, your website URL. This is another way you can get traffic to your website as well. I have a thousand followers on Skillshare. Any one of those has an opportunity to click on my website. Social media, Facebook and Twitter, you can link up. I don't want to make my profile private and I don't want to remove my profile from web, web results. Let's go to settings and your account. What's your email address, your city zip, and your time limit. Your password, your email notifications, your payments. This is what we were talking about earlier, setting up your PayPal payments. Payment account, you're a partner. So learn more about Skillshare's partner program. So learn more about Skillshare's partner program. And here you will connect your PayPal account so you can get paid on Skillshare. And to learn more about Skillshare and how you earn money on it, it's 50-50. So any Skillshare revenue that they get from their premium subscribers who pay 10 or $8 a month if they pay annually, 50% of that goes to the teachers and 50% goes to Skillshare. Formula for monthly royalties, 50% of Skillshare monthly revenue times premium enrollments in your courses divided by the total monthly premium enrollments as a whole, plus student projects divided by total student projects on Skillshare plus monthly referral payment. You can refer other students and teachers to Skillshare and get more money that way. But first, a unique thing to memorize is that as a teacher, you need 25 plus students enrolled in just one course. So for instance, my recommendation would to be upload and publish just one course to Skillshare, list it as free on Skillshare, share that class on the Skillshare Facebook groups with your friends and get 25 students enrolled in that one course. After that, that means you are automatically enrolled in the Skillshare Partner Program and therefore eligible to earn revenue in the royalty pool of the teacher payouts that you described above. On Skillshare, teachers earn between one to $2 per premium enrollment. This places an incredibly high value on each enrollment. To put this into context, relative to other streaming-based services, if a teacher wanted to make $1,000, they would only have to enroll about 500 students on Skillshare, while they would need to reach 167,000 streams on Spotify or 333,000 
views on YouTube. So after you upload and publish that one course to Skillshare, get 25 students in there, that's when you're gonna be able to just upload your courses onto Skillshare, do no marketing whatsoever. Skillshare does all the marketing for you and you can earn money on each enrollment, one to $2. All I did this month was upload five small courses to Skillshare, got around 200 premium enrollments, and I made over $370 using my existing content that I would have listed on Udemy on my website, skillhance.com. That's why I'm a huge proponent of organizing all of your information, all of your courses into Google Drive. It's free up to 15 gigabytes, which I have 30 courses on Udemy and I am about halfway there to 15 gigabytes. After that, it Google will charge you $2 a month to have 100 gigabytes. And anytime you find out about a website, anytime somebody emails you, you can either share this Google folder with that company or you can easily upload the content yourself. The annual earnings by Skillshare instructors, they average around $3,500 per year with the top 10 instructors earning 30,000 with the top 10 instructors earning 30,000 per year. In addition to royalty payments, teachers are able to earn money through our teacher referral program. You will earn $10 per every premium membership you refer. So basically, this is just you uploading existing content onto Skillshare. If you have the content anyways, make it into a course, list it onto Skillshare, and you should easily be able to earn $3,500 per year on Skillshare. Thank you so much. This is Matt Bernstein with Skillhance.com, enhancing your skills, teaching hardworking people just like you to start your own side business and make money online at an affordable cost. It doesn't cost much to start making your own content and start earning money with websites like Skillshare. Thank you so much. Matt Bernstein with Skillhance.com.